Hello and welcome to another Mac App video review. Today we're going to be talking about Chax 2.1 Beta in iChat 4 for Leopard. So this is iChat 4, of course, you know, it added tab chatting. We added, um, this is basically my setup here. I have my aim buddy list, which is my most used one. I have my MSN buddy list, which I use through Jabber. And then I have my Gtalk buddy list, which is basically just Gtalk. But what I've always not liked about iChat is that you have to have these three separate buddy lists. You can't have one unified one. And I was really excited when I woke up this morning and I saw Chax 2.1 Beta now supports a unified buddy list. So let's look at that. If you just go to the iChat menu and you click Window, then you see there's a new On All Contacts view. And whenever you see this little Band-Aid icon for Chax, that means this is added by Chax. So we click All Contacts. And now we have one buddy list that has all my contacts. So it has my AIM, it has my MSN, it has my Gtalk, and it has Bonjour, which is really cool. I, I've been waiting for this to come up for a long time. So now instead of having these three separate windows, I could just have one. Another cool thing about this is someone like, let's say, Adam Robertson. I have added both on MSN and Gtalk. Well, what do you do in this situation? Well, let's double click his name. We go over to chat with him, and I can choose now between adam453 at gmail.com or I can choose through his hotmail address going through Jabber. So I can choose which client to chat with him on, see if he's offline on that one or online on that one. Which is a really cool new feature of iChat. I mean Chax. So let's look at the preferences here. Now Chax has his own preference pane along with everything else and there's a whole bunch of options you can look at this. So one that a lot of people like is automatically resize the contact list to fit and you can see down here all the contact lists have resized to fit all the buddies in them. You can use custom fonts if you want. Another one that I like to have is auto accept text invitations. So whenever someone chats with you, it will just automatically accept them and will show up in your chatting window. You can also auto check, um, auto accept incoming files, um, audio video chats, and screen sharing from certain people. Um, in way messages, this is really cool. This is a new feature of the 2.1 beta. You can enable auto away, which of course is standard. After 45 minutes, it will put you on away or whatever time you want to set it at. They have a screensaver away, so if your screensaver comes on, it will show, it will put you on away and will display the away message here. So basically, we'll say, I'm not here, my screensaver is on, which is pretty cool. And then when you get back from your screensaver, it will go back to available. Notifications, you can show icons of message senders in the dock. So let's say you're in a different space and you get a message and you want to know who, who gets that message you can look at it in the dock but of course you don't need that when you have growl notifications and growl is basically a notification system on the Mac you can find that at growl.info and this basically integrates with growl so that you can see what people are typing to you even if you're in a different space and that's it for chats it it really enhances iChat and makes it a lot more easier and more seamless to use some things that Apple should have done and Chax was the first one to bring you tabs in iChat. And then, of course, Apple brought uh, tabs in iChat 4. But now, Chax is bringing us a unified contact list, which probably will be in iChat 5. But if you want that now, I really recommend that you go download the Chax beta from the site listed on the review. Thanks. This has been another Mac Apper review.